Hello, if you're looking for the Inspiro update video, April 2020, you're in the right place. That is it. And I'm gonna get to the part with the links and in which I let you know more or less all that's been happening in the Inspiro network and how we're making the sense of the world right now, which gods, uh, it's more complex than ever. Uh, but today I wanted this introduction to be different. Um, I wanted to acknowledge the strange situation that we're living because of this whole pandemic. And um, first of all, I wanted to open my heart to you. Hi, I'm Jorian. I'm the Inspiro Catalyst, and this makes my job being pattern recognition, which is quite the painful job at this very moment. And don't get me wrong, I love it, and I think what I'm doing is useful, it's good, but quite painful, even recording this video right now. It's very emotionally taxing, and I have a, lo I have a lot of training, and probably my face doesn't look that bad, but just know that uh, everything is a little bit hard for me, and I imagine that a lot of things are harder for you as well. We're living different times, and we we can't choose the times that we live, but we can choose what we do in those times. I um, I've been finding in the Inspire Network a lot of uh, a true beacon of hope. There is yes fear and anxiety, just like the anxiety. I just expressed to you here, but there are people rethinking systems, there are people trying to find the opportunities, there are people building step by step the structures that we'll need to emerge out of this situation. And so I think that this video here, though this month, April, and also probably the next two months, they're going to be particularly resonant, they're going to be particularly important and I also wanted to share this gift with you. I stumbled upon this network and God, I'm so grateful to find a little bit of hope in those times. So I'll do everything in my power to share this hope, to share those structures that many people in our network are trying to build to make this world better to emerge from this whole situation. So let's go to the links now. Thank you for sharing this moment of intimacy. <laughs> Not real intimacy, but as much intimacy as recorded video allows. Um, and uh, I sincerely hope from the bottom of my heart that the knowledge and the feelings that you'll find in the next few minutes will help you. Even if it's a tiny bit, this will already be such a victory for me. Okay, thank you. Let's go for the videos. The Hum created an online course. They have been uh, uh, creating this since, I guess, December. For a while now, I've been hearing Natty and Rich talking about it. It's all about self-organizing, and it's amazing. And they created this uh, thread here. Of course, they also have the, uh, the website. Uh, ooh, slow internet. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, go f to the thread and share your ideas and your opinions and your everything with them and then check the course out. Uh, I I've seen a couple of videos already uh, when they were in production. Ha 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 ha. I have, uh, I have access uh, <laughs> and uh, the videos are really cool. So you should check it out too. All right. So Ellie, there's, there's a couple of Ellie's in this list and this one is the serious one. Uh, <laughs> which is a great article she wrote about leadership and the opportunities, the, the, the moment for leaders to rise up to the challenge. This is what this article is about. It's super well written and you should definitely give it a look. Great writer. Uh, Rich uh, wrote a bunch of things. There's a couple of people here who wrote a bunch of things. I'm going to try to point them out, but I chose one as the champion of the articles. So. Um, Rich, uh, when he was really struggling with anxiety, he he found a, a peace within spreadsheets, and at, it's just you know soothing and useful. Uh, you should definitely give it a look. Uh, I love how Rich's mind operates with the data and and like pure information, 
great read, but he also wrote a bunch of stuff these days. Oh, that's also rich. Uh, he also went to this uh, podcast and he ranted for 17 minutes. <laughs> so, and he also uh, explored how his work within Inspire right now has been so nurturing. So that if you're more of an audio person, that's also a great way to interact with uh, Rich's mind in this moment. This is an article I wrote in collaboration with people at Greater Than, uh, pointing some um, common uh, problems uh, that people, especially people who are not used to remote work, are facing right now and how they could think about it and how they could solve those problems. So problems with meetings and decision making and uh, um, just normal conversation. So that, that's interesting, especially uh, for people who are really not used, it's a good one. And at the bottom, there's two important links. First, Greater Than is offering this 90-minute call, especially about meetings. It's about uh, how to have efficient, uh, productive online meetings. It's a new product, but we have already done this like 20 times, and it's a blast. It's really cool. It's a lot of content for 90 minutes, but that's the idea. We give a toolbox. So if you know any companies who might be needing this, you can contact me directly or Susan or Kate, uh, Lisa, and um, we'll figure out those calls. And uh, me and Ants, we're creating a... Uh, a virtual teams workshop a five-week program with all things uh, remote it's amazing how many people in the inspire network has a remote work expertise <laughs> but anyway we're in the process of creation you hear more about that but if you want to sign up early uh, you'll have the website below uh, so uh, this is an article from uh, dig uh, and um, it's about again connected to what Ellie was writing about but more for um, for not just for leaders but for everyone in society to really um, assume this change to, to own the change and to really dive into the opportunities uh, that this new post-covid world will create uh, emancipatory catastrophism <sighs> A hard name for a non-native speaker, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, a, a super interesting article, very thorough with a lot of great information and that pinch of hope that makes all the difference. Oops, I uh, accidentally skipped a link. And I wanted to reiterate here, uh, Phoebe is one of the people in the net network who have been most productive uh, within this strange time she's writing a lot and uh, there's a bunch of articles and she's also compiling lists of corona links that are super interesting super useful so if you're looking for toolkits i think there's no better place than phoebe's medium right now end of special insertion uh, this article by exception, was not written by Inspire Light. It was written by Alicia, which who's part of the WeShare network, our sister network. But it's about Alana's uh, full circle leadership model, and I'm inserting it here first because it's very well written, and I love full circle leadership. But second, because Alicia and Emma are uh, offering this uh, four week facilitator uh, online course on the Better Work Together platform. So. If you are interested in full circle leadership, this is a perfect moment uh, to jo join in, especially because now people have a little more online time. So uh, it's always better to have a more energized cohort. Great moment. Uh, Susan wrote about uh, reinventing business education, uh, but through a project and hands-on learning methodology. So uh, again, seizing the strange opportunities that come in this moment maybe it's time for us to unlearn bad habits and learn new great ways to work and to create business uh, in them um, using the, those new tools and those new situations all around us um, and now two literary updates first Natalie just opened uh um well a couple of days ago opened um 
crowdfunding campaign for the, her next book. So this is for pre-order her book, Suck It Up, Princess, which is a wonderful title, Natalie. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, uh, it's up uh, to uh, as all Natalie's work to take uh, take the reins of your own life and to really be deliberate about your life choices. And the other one, it's oi, oi, what did I do here? Uh, and the other one, it's actually me. I launched a new YouTube channel about writing a book. I've been writing a novel for the past 10 months and I've been having such a wonderful time in this journey. So I'm in my third video now and I created this channel just to uh, uh, share this method. There's a Stephen King method that I used. So if you ever thought about writing a novel, uh, I'm writing fiction, not a non-fiction, that I might have a, a cool method that you can try and it's really working for me. So check it out. And now today for a special moment of Zen. You know, I'm bad at this moment of Zen thing, but I'm, I'm getting much better these days. But I think this one's really special. First, I wanted to share another uh, pearl, another diamond by Ellie, which is this amazing video uh, titled um, COVID-19 PSA for Elders. Don't stand so close to me. Social distancing for boomer parents, which is a video that you can send to boomer parents who are still refusing to do social distancing. And let me play it for you. Don't stand, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Don't stand, don't stand. So you get the idea. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> and a little more serious, but still pretty zen, Nan shared this link, which is write a letter to the future. You can write yourself a message right now and deliver in one, three, five years. There's also a button here to choose a specific date. And I think this is a particularly interesting moment to, um, to share, to share with yourself, to send a message to the future, to... Um, uh, connect with a different version of yourself. A couple of years ago, the uh, Well Working Group, which uh, doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> made a uh, end of the year gathering in which we made this exactly the same activity and we wrote messages for ourselves. And one of those emails are not even yet sent. It was scheduled for long ahead. And uh, sometimes I think about it and I look forward to uh, hear what my past self said to me. Anyway, uh, those were this month's updates. Thanks for sticking around.